talented man with a very uh, quite an amazing story and his name and bibliography is also listed in the international who's who of medicine in the 1987 edition you don't get credentials much better than that at 10:45 p.m. my life was suddenly shattered I suffered an excruciating pain in the back of my head and I suffered an extensive intracranial bleed or a ruptured aneurysm. When this happened, it was like somebody hit you on the back of the head with a baseball bat. I was alive, but I had no quality of life. I couldn't do any work. I was totally disabled. I was classed as, as being totally disabled. I researched it for a couple of months, and then I talked it over with my wife, and we said, well, you know, if this stuff does what it's supposed to do or what they say it does, I want to try it because nothing else is working. Since July, the last week of July of 2000, I have not even had to take an aspirin for pain. And there's absolutely no training in nutrition, preventative medicine, and so forth in our medical schools. The fourth leading cause of death is properly prescribed non-error adverse reactions to pharmaceutical drugs. The classic Hippocratic Oath that I so fervently believe in and I, I took when I graduated first do no harm and I want physicians I want healthcare practitioners to listen to that oath if you truly believe what you're in medicine or what you're in the healthcare field for is to help people first do no harm look at stuff investigate read up and if you say well I have no time and if you have that attitude you have no business taking care of people because people rely on you Unless a healthcare professional advises that there are other therapies, other benefits that can be accrued through nutrition rather than the standard drug paradigm, they will be the ones that will be held accountable. All the things that your cells do get benefit from proper nutrition. Pharmaceutical preparations alter, interfere with, block, or somehow change normal physiological processes. What nutrition does when taken proper nutrition which we can't get in our modern diets anymore in our westernized diets they help every cell support it they, they, they help the replication they help the cellular communication they help the ability of cells to interact properly and this is what proper uh, nutrition does there's absolutely no question at all of the benefits of glyconutritionals, monosaccharides, phytosterols, phytochemicals, uh, all these products or all these supplements that we're talking about. <laughs>